Hey everyone, I'm back today with another ZBrush tutorial. Well, it's kind of a ZBrush Substance Painter tutorial. We're going to be taking this model right here and exporting from ZBrush and importing into Substance Painter where we will be baking our high resolution details onto a lower resolution model. All right, so as you guys can see, I have my high resolution model ready. It's about 60 million polygons. Uh, it has several different sub tools. Let's see, we have the eyes, we have the gums, we have the teeth, we have the upper body. We have the rope around his arms, the legs, the fingernails, and his shorts. All of those sub tools are gonna need their own UV map before we import the low res model into Substance Painter. So what we're gonna do is, We're going to generate UVs real quick for the shorts. I've already generated UVs for the whole model, but I'll show you how I do this real quick, just in case you don't know. So pick your sub tool, drop down to the lowest subdivision level. You can see the shorts just became very low res. Go to Z plugin, UV master, work on clone. I have polygroup selected because I want the map to separate by polygroup. So let's do that real quick. See polygroup is selected right there. We'll hit unwrap. We'll hit, we can go to UV map, morph UV. And now we can see the layout. Let's hit that again to change back to the regular mesh. Let's go back to Z plugin, copy UVs. Let's go back to our high res. Z plugin, paste UVs. We can go to geometry and go back to our highest subdivision level and we are good to go. Keep in mind, this will rename your subtool. The cloning process does anyway. Uh, so let's rename this. Let's move that underscore one off the end of that. All of these subtools have underscore high appended to the end of their name. This represents the fact that this is the high poly version of that subtool. When we make the low poly, we'll have underscore low at the end of each subtool. Okay, next I want to export the texture map from the upper body so I can import it into some Painter. Once again, I've already done this, but I'm going to do it again just so you guys can see how it's done. I selected the upper body subtool. I want the highest subdivision level because I want the best quality poly paint I can get. Go to texture map. New from poly paint. This model's already got UVs. As you can see, there's the texture map. I'll hit clone. I go over here to texture, I'll flip it, and then I'll export, and then I'll just save it out as my uh, base texture. All right, now this is incredibly important, so I'm gonna go over it for a second time. We're exporting the high poly version of all these subtools. So therefore, the name of all of these subtools has underscore high at the end of them. If you don't know how to name your subtools, you can hit this rename button, and it'll let you type in a name. So let's go over here, let's go to Z plugin, Let's pick FBX export import. These are the settings I'm using, visible, so it only exports the visible subtools. If there's a subtool you don't want to export, just hide it. Bin and S normals, which smooths the normals. Okay, so go ahead and hit export. I usually name the high resolution model something like uh, model underscore high poly so I know that it's the high poly version of the model. Okay, so while this is exporting, remember the high poly version of your model could take a really long time to export. In this case, we have 60 million poly, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so next we need to export the low res model. I'm going to come over here to subtool and I'm just going to hit all low. This takes every subtool and basically changes it to the lowest subdivision level. So as you can see, every subtool is at its lowest subdivision level. Next, we want to go through and rename each subtool and append that underscore low at the end. It's important that the beginning of the name stays the same. In this case, it was eyes underscore high is now going to be eyes underscore low. These need to match up. Okay, so I've renamed all of my subtools with underscore low at the end of the name. 
you want to make sure that there are no errors. Otherwise, you're going to get baking errors in Substance Painter. Okay, now that we've double checked all our subtools, let's go to Z plugin and we will export again. Okay, and that was way faster than exporting the high res model. I think we're about done in ZBrush. Let's head over to Substance Painter. All right, so I'm here in Substance Painter. Let's go ahead and import our low res model. We'll go to File, New. I like to change document resolution to 4K, so we'll select that. Let's do Kick low that's the name of my model and underscore low because it's the low poly version we'll hit okay all right cool so this is the low poly model time to bake from our high res over here at uh, texture set settings let's scroll down a little bit we'll pick bake mesh maps under mesh maps let's change the output size to 4k under high definition meshes, the high res. And now under match, change this to mesh name. And you can see here where it says low poly mesh suffix, underscore low, high poly mesh suffix, underscore high. That is differentiating the high poly and the low poly models. So it's essentially looking at the low poly subtools and it's finding uh, the name of the subtool underscore low and it matches it with the high poly mesh, the name of the subtool underscore high and it knows to bake uh, based on that criteria. We'll go over to ID, we'll change color source to file ID, we'll hit apply to all to apply this to all texture sets. And under texture sets we make sure everything is checked and we're going to go ahead and bake this. This could take several minutes. Okay, so this is moving along now. As you can see, we're getting a lot of check marks. If any of these show in red, it probably means you didn't name one of your subtools correctly and it can't find the uh, opposing high res or low res subtool, so it's causing an error. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. We'll be back as soon as this is done baking. All right, here we go. The model has finished baking and you can see we have a lot of our high res details baked into the low res model. Looks pretty good. So that's, you know, that's what we wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and drop in those skin textures. I've just opened the directory on another screen. I'm just going to drag and drop the textures into the tray here. Copy that in. I'll change this to texture and then import. I'm just going to say for the current session right there. Now I will pick upper body low. All right. Make a new layer. fill layer sorry drag this texture over to base color and there we go we now have our skin texture in substance painter all right so now we have our model in substance painter the maps are baked and our textures are imported well at least one for now i'll do the rest later uh but yeah so this is this is how you do it this is how you go from ZBrush to Substance Painter and bake your maps. I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked the video, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, and that's about it. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.